Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool in Adobe Illustrator. Specifically, we're going to deal with shape modes today, add, subtract, intersect, and exclude. I'm going to show you how to use the direct selection tool and the expand or alt select feature of that as well. Now, what's the motivation here? Well, we're building this Yahoo Maps program, and you can see there's a simple graphic background graphic here. It's a uh, like a white bubble that holds the image text uh, the close button and the play and uh, stop buttons. You can see how that goes. And I want to be able to just draw that simple graphic. And the best tool to do that in is, of course, Adobe Illustrator. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm in Adobe Illustrator, a really fun program. I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool by overlapping two objects. Let's just use a simple square and a simple circle. So let's click on the square and draw a rectangle or square and this one's red with a black outline and now let's choose a circle or an ellipse, so I'll hit ellipse tool and I'm going to choose a blue fill and oops, had that selected let's go back to red let's get off of that there we go and now let's choose a blue fill for the ellipse and draw our ellipse and if you hold the shift key down when you draw it'll be a perfect circle so now we have a circle overlapping a square and let's take a look at that Pathfinder tool. Now what I want to do is go to Windows and look for Pathfinder. And here's my Pathfinder right here. We're going to get rid of that window there so we have more room. And there's four modes. Look at the first row right here, the shape modes, and the second row are the Pathfinder modes. We'll be looking at shape modes today. And there's four modes. There's the Add mode, the Subtract mode, the intersect mode and the exclude mode. So let's go ahead and take our little uh, selection tool and select both circles so we can see what these do. And if I click on the add mode, it adds the two together. If I s click on the subtract mode, let's undo that, control Z. Click on the subtract mode, it subtracts them, control Z. Click on the uh, intersect mode, it intersects them, control Z. And click on the exclude mode, it excludes everything that's being intersected. Uh, pretty cool. So now that I've examined the four possible modes with Shapefinder, let's go back and look at the Add mode just a little bit more. Let's select both of those uh, objects with our selection tool and hit Add. And notice both turn blue because the dominant color on top will take precedence over the one on bottom. Let's go ahead and change that, Control Z, and let's bring the red uh, rectangle to the front. So right click and go Range, bring to front. And now let's select both of them with the selection tool. And when I hit add, now they both turn red. Okay, now that you understand how that works, let's go back again. And I'll go ahead and go back one more. Let's select both of them and hit add. And notice if I hit the if I hit the direct selection tool, I can select either one of those individually. I haven't lost that. So by grabbing one of those, I can still continue to edit my image. You see that? Now let's go ahead and hit the intersection tool because you'll be able to see that a lot better. Control Z. And you can see now as I move that around, look at that. You can see I'm editing on the fly here. Now when you're happy with the way your image looks, let's go back a few. We'll go back to where we were. Okay, I have my circle and my red square again, and the circle is over the red square. And say I'm happy with the way that looks, and I don't want to edit two different paths. I can grab those, select the two and I can hit add and then expand and now it's all one object you can see and, and I, I can't select the two separately let's control Z again there's another way to do this too so let's select both objects and you can hit, actually hit the alt key and press the mode that you want to do at the same time and it does that automatically without pressing two buttons so that's pretty cool uh, a little bit about how to use the four modes in uh, Pathfinder now let's apply it to our example so I'm back into my Yahoo Maps project and I want to build this white holder. Basically it's a rounded rectangle with a pointer and those are two separate objects that I'm going to need to add together in Illustrator. Let's do that right now. So here's Illustrator and I'm going to use Pathfinder to combine two objects to form that white holder. So let's bring out a rounded rectangle. It's going to have a white fill and a black border. There's my rounded rectangle. And I need to create that pointer, so I'm going to use the pen tool to do that. And I'll just go one, two, three, and four. There I have my pen 
So I've used my pen tool to create this shape. I'm going to basically just overlap one with the other. Now that my two shapes are overlapping, I'm going to select them both, marquee around them, and hit the Add tool. And at this point, I could use my uh, Direct Selection tool, if I wanted to, to move that uh, cursor around, to move that object around to get it just where I want it. And when I have it the way I want it, I can basically select both and click on the Expand tool, and that combines both both objects. Now, of course, I could have basically held down the Alt key and hit the uh, Add mode as well to do it all at once. But it was nice to have that direct select basically to move the object around and get it just right. Now, let's click on that and let's add the drop shadow effect. So go to Effects, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. Here's our drop shadow panel. Now you can actually adjust these parameters to make it look however you want to. I'm just going to accept the defaults. And there's my drop shadow. Isn't that nice? Let's go and export this for the web. And you want to make sure that you choose ping so you get that transparent background. And that's really looking good. So let's go ahead and save. And give it a name. So go Yahoo Background. And save. Congratulations, you just produced your first background image holder for Yahoo Maps in Pathfinder. Wasn't that easy?